Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So, with the festival season upon us and Glastonbury starting yesterday, I thought I'd do a festival fashion guide. So this video is going to be about what to wear to a festival and what to take to a festival. But also, if it's just a hot summer day and you just want to look festival inspired and festival chic. So, please don't say to me, well, you need to take a sleeping bag to a festival or you need to take a tent to a festival because obviously I realise that but I haven't got a tent sitting right here that I can hold up and show you. So obviously most of you will realise that if you're going to a festival, you've got to take things like that. This is more the glamorous, girly stuff that you could take with you. Also, if you just wanted to have a festival-inspired look. So anyway, I'll get started. First of all, on some clothes. So we're also going to go on the fact that we can wear these clothes when it's nice and warm and sunny. If you're at Glastonbury at the moment, then you won't be watching this video, but <laughs> most people there will not be wearing this kind of stuff. They'll probably have rain max on and big jumpers because it's raining and freezing and not very nice right now. Hopefully the weather will improve over the weekend for everyone enjoying themselves at Glastonbury. But hopefully if you're going to a festival later in the summer, or like I said, if you just wanted to have a summer festival inspired look, then you can wear some of these outfits too. So first of all, I have high-waisted shorts. These are a must. I love high-waisted shorts. I wear them all the time. I've said it in loads of videos before. Um, but I just think they're so cute and you can also wear them with tights if it is a bit cold but you can just pair them with so many things and they just look super super cute these ones are from H&M and I really love them um, I wear these all the time and I just think denim is a really great hippie festival kind of staple you can wear denim shorts and you'll just rock the look and it'll look brilliant also little shirts and blouses like this with the tie up on, they're really really in fashion this season and they just look great at festival. If you're jumping around and dancing to the music a lot then these are really lightweight and they just look really pretty basically. And this one's going to be available on Dolly Bobo soon because if you didn't know already we've just started to introduce our fashion range onto the website. Um, and there are nine dresses on there at the moment, so if you haven't seen them, go and check them out. I really want to do a video about them but I don't want everyone to think she's just trying to sell her products and stuff but I've had so many requests so let me know if you want me to do a video about the dresses on Dolly Bobo. That's that, I really really love this, I can't wait for this one to be available. I can actually show you one of the dresses now because I'm wearing it at the moment, it's my favourite or one of my favourites, I actually can't choose but I love this one and I think it would look so cute for a festival inspired look because it's just lightweight, it's floral which is a must, I love floral, everyone knows that I love floral anyway but I'll just show you this one that I'm wearing. This is the pattern of it, it's really, really gorgeous and um, it's just pink florals with, on a white background and it just, I love the way that it cuts here like this, I just think it's a really vintage inspired cut. If I just show you the rest of it, I've got a belt on with mine and then it has these zip pockets down the sides, sorry if the camera's going a bit blue. So, yeah, sorry I couldn't show you better but the lighting is really, really bad. You can see it on the website if you're interested anyway, it's the Libby dress. So this is my favourite one at the moment. I think I'm going to have to pick it as my favourite at the moment. I think it would just look so cute at a festival or for the summer. I also love little flyaway cardigans like this. They're really lightweight. This one was from Primark. And I just think you can just put this over whatever you're wearing and um, it will just... It probably won't keep me very warm at all, but it will just look cute. And again, with the denim shorts, it will be a really hippie, cute, festival, boho chic look like that. And this one's got like... um a lace effect panel in the back. Really love that. Then if it is a bit colder, you can always take some really cute accessories that will still look pretty and girly, but that you can wrap around you if you're a bit cold. So I've got these two scarves. They're not like woolly winter scarves. They're made of a cotton material and both of them are from Urban Outfitters. And basically they look like this and they're a circular scarf. I'm not sure if I've shown these in a video before. I think I might have filmed the video and then something went wrong with it, I'm not sure, I don't remember. And then you just put them on like that and you can just wear them with anything really. And they're really good for throwing back over your shoulders as well to make like a little shawl and it just drops like that and it just looks really cute. So there's this one which is the white, blue, um, cream one, all different colours in there. And then there's this orangey blue one which is a bit more of an Aztec print which is really in as well at the moment. If you don't want to go for the floral, cute, girly look, you can always go for the Aztec look or the rocker chic look with maybe like a black t-shirt and shorts or something like that. Always take the shorts, you can put the shorts with anything as long as you like denim shorts that is. 
So yeah, these scarves are from Urban Outfitters. So I'd like to take with me a big chunky cardigan. This was actually one, this one's got shoulder pads which I might cut out because they're huge. Um, this was actually one that I got at a boot fair for like a pound or something. It looks really weird with what I'm wearing at the moment, I can tell that in the camera. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut the shoulder pads out because they're a bit like, a bit um, too structured for a really casual, chic festival look. Um, but you can't see it properly, I'll try and show you, I'll take it off, it's really cosy and I can just imagine wearing this like sitting outside your tent with your little barbecue going, keeping warm um, yeah, it looks like that, it's really long it's got this blue and white kind of um, just spirally pattern on it can't really explain that any other way, it's spirally um, yeah, it was from a boot fair, it cost me a pound like I said so bargain I just thought that was cute but any you know big knitted woolen cardigan that you want to take if it's raining they're probably not the best idea because obviously they're going to get heavy with the water um but obviously a big rain mac or a waterproof is going to be the best thing to take anyway next footwear so if you're really lucky when you go to your festival or you go camping or you're just going out in your festival inspired outfit then you can wear flip-flops any flip-flops you want to wear they're just going to look brilliant with the outfit and they're just going to tie in with the look totally. I mean, I haven't got any flip-flops right here to show you, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you're not so lucky with the weather, you could wear a pair of waterproof boots. Um, Primark did a lot of them in the winter, so if you have a pair left over from um, winter um, biker boots, you can always wear them because they're going to keep your feet really dry. But I think the perfect festival footwear would be wellies like this. I also got these from a boot fair and they were like £2 or something like that. Um, they're a little bit big for me, size 6 and my feet are a size 3. <laughs> but I had to get them because they're so cute and I really don't think it matters too much how big wellies are. I mean obviously if they're like 6 sizes bigger then you're just going to look silly. But these ones actually aren't that big. But um, they're really cute, they've got this rose design on them. And yeah, they were really really cheap. The best thing to wear in wellies are really thick long socks. You can have the socks poking out of the wellies which looks really cute. I think that's a classic festival look. Um, these are just green, like bottle green ones or army green ones from Primark and they have little buttons so you can have the buttons sticking out. And yeah, they're just going to keep your feet warm. You don't want to have no socks on in wellies. And I'd probably wear a few pairs of socks. Um, really thick, chunky woolen ones that are going to keep your feet warm. Um, and that's if it's not boiling hot. But let's move on to accessories because this video is going to be so long. So first of all, bags. Now, when you're going to a festival, you want to have a little bag with you because you don't want to carry around a massive bag, but obviously you need to keep your money and your phone and stuff on you. You don't want to leave that in your tent because someone could take it. So any valuables that you take, I wouldn't really recommend taking any valuables, but phone and money, like I said, you can keep in a little um, shoulder bag like this. This is just a little straw one. And it's really small, I think the smaller the better. Or if you had more stuff you wanted to take around with you, something like this, but still pretty small. It's just a little tan fake leather bag. And again, you can just cross it over you so you don't have to have it on your sh um, shoulder all the time and you just kind of forget that it's there. Um, also, you could have like a belt bag where the little purse is hanging off your belt, which would be great because you don't even have to worry about it being there. And if you've just got money and a phone, then you can just chuck them in there. But I haven't got one to hand right now, but maybe you could search online or in one of the high street stores for one if you don't have one already. Then hair accessories. I think hair accessories are so important because they just really finish off the, festi the festival chic look. And you can wear these to festivals. And like I keep saying, even if you're just out on a summer's day and you just want to have that cute boho chic look. So first of all, I'm going to show you some more things from Jolly Bobo because we've just got these in and they're gorgeous. They're so beautiful. Um, they are floral headbands and they come in six different colours. They are stunning and I'm just going to quickly show them to you. So we have blue and they're just covered in these gorgeous little roses. And the thing I love about them is they have these vine leaves that drape down the back. So when you wear them, I don't know if how well you can see, they fall down the back. And they just look so, so, so cute. I love the blue one because it's a really, really bright, vibrant blue. And we have peach in stock I don't know how well you can see that we have pink 
we have yellow cream and hot pink or fuchsia as I like to call it I love this one as well it's a really vibrant colour and you just pop it on like that and you just look really hippified and boho chic and of course sunglasses that is if it's sunny as I keep saying pop your sunglasses on these ones are huge bug eye sunglasses I've had these for ages they're really cute um, but I love these and I wear these all the time, well not all the time, when it's sunny I wear them. But yeah, sunglasses if it's nice and hot. Then last but not least, I'm going to go on to um, makeup and hair care stuff for you to take. Now again, obviously you're not going to want to take loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. As girls though, we do tend to pack more than we need to. Um, I think a must is definitely face wipes or baby wipes. You can get big double packs at them, boots and places like that. Um, and you should take as many of these as possible with you. Another must have that you have to take is dry hair shampoo. If you're going th for like a weekend or three days, then you might not really get the chance to wash your hair. And as long as you've washed it maybe the day before you've gone to the festival, then I'm sure dry hair shampoo won't do you any harm for a few days. This one is the Batiste um, dry shampoo with a hint of colour for blonde hair. This is really, really good. You don't, you don't want to spray too much of it because it does come out a yellow colour because obviously it can't come out blonde if that makes sense. As you rub it in it does just take the darkness out of the roots if that makes sense without it looking yellow. But all I'm saying is don't leave it in your hair without rubbing it in because it will look like you have yellow powder in the top of your head. And they also do this for brunettes and I think uh, red hair as well. As well as a few bits of makeup that you might want to take maybe. Um, a little bit of foundation or mascara or lip gloss, you really don't need that much. I would suggest taking miniature things with you. So if you are going to wash your hair in the, the showers that most of the festivals have, then take a miniature bottle of shampoo and conditioner with you. Um, if you want to take like a miniature um, antibacterial hand wash stuff, then you can take something like that because that might be good as you're camping in a field basically. That's just a pocket version. Um... A miniature hand cream. I mean, I'm not saying you need to take, you know, hand cream and moisturiser and facial scrub and everything like that. If you've got any miniatures to hand, then they might come in handy because you never know if you just want to put a bit of moisturiser on your hands if you're feeling a bit ugh. And also, I would definitely recommend taking a lip balm because your lips are going to get very dry. You're out in the open air all day long. Um, this one is the Body Shop Sheer Butter and it's 10 mils looks like that and it smells amazing but you know Vaseline or just any lip balm that's your favourite really and I just suggest putting getting a little makeup bag and just putting your essentials in there and then if you've got these miniatures then they can fit in there as well instead of big bottles of shampoo conditioner um, like face wash all that kind of stuff so I think that is about everything I really wanted to go and do some festival inspired photos but the weather is not looking good enough to do that. If you want to check out any of the things that I mentioned, then I'll put the links in the down bar below. Have an amazing time if you are going to a festival this year. Also, I just wanted to mention this, which I got in Urban Outfitters, and they're just a free little um, brochure, really. Um, it's called Notion Festival Guide 2011. It looks like that. And it has all the different festivals, well, not every single festival that you can go to, but there's ones all around the world. Um, let me just pick out a few. Um, there's the Love Box Festival. There is... Where else? Um, Isle of Wight Festival, Blissfields, which is in Winchester. There's the Sona Festival, which is in Barcelona. Um, lots and lots of different ones. Exit Festival, which is in Serbia. See, there's ones all around the world, and but mainly ones in the UK in here. So it's just a really good little thing to pick up if you're a, in Urban Outfitters. It's just a free little brochure. Um, so yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!